Okay, let's just get started. And yeah, hopefully we'll get started and hopefully this will work out well. And we have to finish up this route that we were on, um, east of Pewter City. So let's do that real quick. We're gonna run there. And yeah, we're gonna hopefully make it to Mount Moon and probably still in City 2 in this live stream session. This is the second live stream session, by the way. So we already battled most of these trainers. So we're just gonna go past them, I guess. Okay, we haven't beat this bug catcher yet. I'll battle you with the Pokemon I just caught. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Catcher James would like to battle. But catcher's thing. But catcher games sent out a Caterpie, okay. Let's see, level eleven Caterpie. I might as well just switch out to um Blaster or something or Fumi. Let's go to Fumi actually. So yeah. Let's choose Peck, I guess. Yeah. Okay, Peck missed. Oh, wait, no, the Caterpie is attacking missed. My bad. Caterpie's tackle missed. Okay, there we go. There goes the Caterpie, though. So that's good. And yeah, we, uh, Fumi and Thunder got some experience points. Here's the Metapod. Again, I'll just use Peck, because Peck is my... Peck is Fear Me's only attacking move that does damage. So, you know. Metapod will use Harden, so it'll probably take three, three more to Pecks now, or maybe just two, depending on how lucky I get. I think, yeah, two more packs should faint, um, or one more pack after this should faint, Metapod. So, yeah. It's gonna raise up its defense another number, but the Metapod should go down, and there we go. Okay. Female, uh, female gained, um, 169 experience points and grew to level 13, that's awesome. And Fumi also learned Fury Attack, so interesting. That's a cool move, it hits up to two to five times. It's not the best move, but if you can get hit to hit five times, it will end the game. It's actually pretty cool and decent. Done like dinner. Thanks for the 132 Poké dollars. Okay, so here's a last. Now this last has a Jigglypuff level 14, I believe, with the cute charm, and it knows Sing, which can put your Pokémon to sleep. So that's why I recommend you always get one or two Awakenings at the Mart in Pewter City. So you know, last Robin. So hopefully we can take this Jigglypuff down. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna. Oh wait, I don't even have Thunder Wave yet. And the irony is that my uh, that Thunder wins Thunder Wave at level eight, and it's almost level eight. Okay, let's go to let's go to Chelsea then. Yeah, we got this. We got this. Defense card raises its defense once that's that could that could be trouble later on because it can it can make the difference in having to survive another turn from it all, from the Jigglypuff almost fainting, and it's gonna use Sing. Oh man, I was afraid of this. I think I bought two awakenings. So I might as well use one of them now. Once I bought one, wait, I haven't bought. I didn't. Bring, I didn't buy awakenings. Uh, that's that's awkward. Okay, quick attack then. Yeah, Chelsea's gonna be asleep for maybe like another turn or two. I don't know. Hopefully, I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Okay, it's gonna just pound on us. There we go. Chelsea woke up. There we go. Defense code, oh my gosh, defense code is actually like raising up Jigglypuff's uh, Jiggly um, defenses one number at a time, but it's taking longer and longer to faint this um, Jigglypuff then. And it used Disable on, my, on Chelsea. Okay, fine, we'll use Tackle. Come on, Chelsea. I'm sorry that you might have to go down, but I mean, you need to weaken, we need to just weaken down this Jigglypuff and then you're doing the job. You're doing good, Chelsea. And tackle missed, okay. Defense curl, okay. Just tackle again. Just pound, okay. Chelsea will go down, sadly. Yeah. Let's go to Blaster. I just want Blaster to end this Julie Puff and faint it, I guess. Let's put Water Gun right here, yeah. And taco right here. And bubble can stay right there, I guess. But use water gun. Last year's water gun. There we oh man, it survived by one okay good. The sing miss it survived by like two hit points or something like that. Let's go for the taco and then sugar puff should go down. Yeah, good thing it's only a Pokemon too. 
Thunder Gear level 8, and Thunder also will land Thunder Wave, there we go. Yeah, Blaster also gains some experience. We defeated Last Robin, that's it. Yeah, I'm sorry, but that's it. But thanks for the 224 Poké Dollars. I really appreciate it. And here we go. This guy will talk about this um, Mount Moon, I guess. Phew, I better take a rest grown. Uh, that tunnel from Suleon takes a lot out of you. I understand. Um, there's no there's no item in here. Okay, yeah, there's no item. Okay. Just double checking. A Pidgey. Nice. Level 6. Cool. Let's use Thunder Shock. Oh, let me switch up these moves real quick. Okay, Thunder Shock on the Pidgey. Be nice. That'd be nice. And it almost fainted it. Uh, critical hit. I think this was, I think that was the last do a trainer battle on that route with the last Robin. So, we actually made it to the entrance of Mount Moon almost, actually. So, that's really exciting. Okay. So, up here. Yeah, there's, okay, we'll come back to Route 4. But I want to get back to the Pokemon Center and also um, buy some items at the Pokemon. Like more repels and Awakenings and stuff like that. Now that I have more money from, you know, winning all these trainer battles right here. So, let's do that real quick. I already picked up that one bear in that dark spot over there in the last part, I think. Yeah, it should have been the last part. Yeah, okay. We got this. We got this. Okay, welcome to our Pokemon Center. Would you like to heal your Pokemon back to full health? Yes, of course we would. Thank you for waiting. We restored your Pokemon to full health. We have to see you again. Aw, oh, thanks, Nurse Joy. I really appreciate it. And... Yeah, we'll just put... Keep it... The, the, my, we'll keep the party members in that order, I guess. Why not? And, yeah, here's a... Pokemon. And we can talk to the clerk. Let's see, we have that much dollars. So what I want to buy is a couple Awakenings, actually. So two. And repels. You can buy four repels, but then again I don't. Um two repels. Seven hundred. Two repels. I'm trying to do the math here. Yeah, buy two more repels. Okay, so yeah. Still have seven hundred and seventy six poker dollars, so that's good. Let's go back to where we're at on Route 4. So let's go east of Pewter City. Route 3 is here. We've battled all the trainers on this route now, so that's good. We got them over with. And yeah, we battled the last Robin over here. We go over here. And there's a train over here that will talk about this um, Mount Moon real quick, but we have to talk to him. And I don't think there's any hidden items in this box right here. Um, boulders right here, so yeah. But also right here is... Uh, a uh, hidden berry too. Well, it's not really hidden because it's a spe it's a specific dark spot where the berries are always at. We got the frozen berry, and let's go to the Pokemon Center. Did I heal up at the last Pokemon Center in Pewter City? I wonder. It's just oh, okay. Cool. So well, I'm in here because I want to talk to this man right here. He will give us a magic carp. Oh, he'll, I'll, I'll, I should read his dog first. Man, his name is Man. Hello there, laddie. Have I got a deal for you? Just a deal just for you. I'll let you have a secret Pokemon named Magikarp, which is 500 Poké Dollars. So you'll buy it? Am I right? Okay, I'm gonna buy it, yeah. Do I give a nickname to this Magikarp? I'm gonna give a nickname to this Magikarp. I'm gonna name this Magikarp Golden. Because this Magikarp will make us rich later on, coming up soon in Suleen City with a trick. Um... That Ball Ball Peas, shout out to Ball Ball Peas, showed um, me in his, one of his Pokemon Leaf Green Let's Play parts or episodes. So yeah, we'll get into that later though. But to explain, oh, we'll, get, we'll save it for later I guess. But yeah, I'll explain it when we get there. And as, as we do it. So let's go on to Mount Moon. Okay, so in here is a bug catcher, so let's just battle him, I guess. So suspicious men are in the cave. What about you? Well, I'm just a Pokemon trainer. I'm the, I'm the protagonist of this game. I kind of have to go through these dungeons and all that, including Mount Moon. So, yeah. 
So if I'm sniffling again, I'm still kind of sick from last Tuesday, from being sick, you know. Let's go for the. Okay, never mind. Well, yeah, I'll, sw I'll switch out. So yeah, Pokemon. And let's go to Chelsea, I guess. And here we go. Nice. String shot. Okay. That's cool. Let's just quick attack. Oh, that's a good quit. Nice. I'll take it. We don't got to use string shot again. But quick attack always goes first. Unless it's like a speed tire, you have higher speed than me, I guess. I don't know. It always goes first, it seems like. So I'm going to go with that. Thunder Group got um, 60 experience points, go to level 9. And will Chelsea level up at 60 experience points? No, but there's another Pokemon coming out, so maybe. This Kakuna might only know Harden, so that's good because it won't do damage on my on Chelsea, so that's good. She's quick attack again. There we go. Oh, so close. Okay, this Harden's getting really annoying because it's just making it so I can have one more turn just to use Harden. Just to annoy me. Oh, critical hit, nice. Critical hits also cancel out all the stat changing moves and stat changes. So that's why the critical hit's so powerful right there. Trust the grid level 12. We defeated Bug Catcher Kent. You got me. <laughs> Thanks for the 132 Poker Dollars. Yeah, so right down here is the TM09 for Bullet Seed. So there you go. I won't, I probably won't teach that. Well, I don't have a Grass type yet, actually. Never mind. I was thinking if I had, if I chose Bulbasaur, but I chose Squirtle. Here's the Zubat. Thundershock. I guess, yeah. And I want you to use Thundershock again. He's Astonish, okay. That's cool. And there go there we go, the Zubat goes down. Okay. Let's go up here. Oh man, another wall encounter. I might as well start putting repels up. But here's another Zubat. This one's level seven, female. Okay, let's go with the with the Thundershock. And yeah, there we go. Oh man. We try Okay. I'm gonna have to use another Thundershock. Because Thundershock's my only Attacking move right now that does damage. Hey, yeah, Zubat. Nice. Uh, yeah, uh, hey, Zubat. Um, it's Zekrom25k. What's up? Oh, thanks. You're, you're cheering on my Pikachu. I like that. Just use Thundershock. Well, I could have thrown a Pokemon caught that Zubat for just the Pokedex, but I already clicked the button to say, hey, Thunder, use Thundershock. So, yeah. Let's use a uh, Paralysis Heal, so that's good. And I figured I can run in this place, but I also want to put a Repel on, because again, running makes it like a 1.5 times ch uh, the chance that you'll actually run into up encounters. So, yeah. It's, it, it actually is helpful to walk in big places like this where there's wild Pokemon, if you're very patient at least. So yeah, here's the last. Well, okay, I forgot that, you know, the Repel only repels Pokemon one level below you and under. So like for example, I have a my Pikachu is a level nine, so it didn't it didn't repel a level nine Zubat because it's the same level it matches. But if it could repel levels eight and below Pokemon, so yeah, that's the little spiel on the repel stuff. We drive okay, cool. There we go. You're st okay, static, cool. There we go. Nice. See about going down. Here's the last again. What? I'm waiting for my friends to find me here. Okay. I bet you. I think she has a cool fairy actually. So that's cool. Let's, she sends out the Kofari, I'll send out my Pikachu, 
And what's your Thundershock? Ah, oh, no, it didn't do as much as I thought. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm, it's five levels ahead of my Pikachu, so I understand why now. Let's go to, to Fear Me and use Fear Attack. Hopefully we can hit like four or five times. I don't know. Anchor Bar failed, okay. So, there we go. And switch Peck with a Weir. There we go, nice. Fear Attack. Okay, cool. Oh, it's a critical hit. Nice for that first hit. Hit two times. Okay, I need it to hit three, four, or five times. I know. I feel me fell asleep. That's not good. It's fast asleep. Okay. I see how it is. His name is Growl, which was my attack. Which was Fumi's attack. Of course. Still fast asleep. Okay. Hopefully, my next turn, Fumi can wake up. Okay, lower my attack two numbers now. Two stages, I should say. Come on. Ah, this is so annoying. There we go, Fumi woke up. Okay, so, cool. Ah, uh, not cute charm. Okay. I'm gonna end the battle, I'm gonna end this battle right now. Um, yeah. Oh, okay, um, all my Pokemon are male except for uh, Chelsea and my Golden. So I'll send out Chelsea so that way the cute charm doesn't affect Chelsea against this, um, you know, Kalfari. Because if they're, sa if they're the same gender, then uh, cute charm and attract moves kind of like that don't work because they're the same gender. So let's just quick attack. Oh, hey, Taylor. He's pickle up. He's pickle up in the chat. Yeah. So quick attack. Oh my gosh, this is so annoying. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna use an awakening and then just one more quick attack and then we can be done with this battle. Sounds like a plan in my mind. So let's use an awakening. I have one more after this, so that's good. And hopefully we don't use seeing two turns in a row. I guess I'm on core to use quick attack. I guess. There we go. Yeah. Okay, cool. Thunder, yeah, gained 67 points, experience points, Chelsea also gained 67 experience points, and Fumi also did the same thing. Or you received the same thing. I lost? Yeah, I'm sorry. Thanks for the 224 Pokedollars, though.